We are back now with the actress who captured the hearts of daytime drama fans for more than four decades is, of course, Erica Kane on All My Children. Yeah, you know who we're talking about. Emmy winner and soap opera queen Susan Lucci. Susan is an ambassador for the American Heart Association, and today we are kicking off American Heart Month. It's good to see you, first of all. You look fantastic. Thank you so much. And great to see you both. I'm so happy you're here. This, is an this isn't just a cause, because sometimes there are causes and people will put attach their name. This is much, much more than that. You yourself have had some issues with your heart. I have, and it took me so by surprise because I had never had a health issue. But uh, four years ago, mm -hmm. I came very close to having a, a fatal heart attack. Mm -hmm. uh, they call it the widow maker. Mm -hmm. uh, I came really close because, like so many of us as women, when we have any kind of symptoms, we say, oh, it'll go away. Yeah. We're, we take care of our children. Yeah. We take them right to the pediatrician. Yes. But for ourselves, we're not on our own to-do list. Yeah. And I got so incredibly lucky in so many ways. What happened that ways. day? Uh, well, yeah. I'll, I'll try to cut it short, but yeah. a couple times that month, the month of October, I had had a, a very slight chest pain, very slight. Yeah. And I thought it would go away, and it did. By the time my husband and I were seated at the table in the restaurant, yeah. it yeah, went away. Gone. Yeah. Happened again, but it was also radiating around my rib cage to my back, but I'm still saying it's nothing. nothing. It can't yeah. be anything. Yeah. Right. My mother's 104 years old. No, yeah. it's not me. You yeah. know, it can't be. In any case, um, three weeks went by. I could not ignore it any longer. I was out of it the kept boutique, happening. Yeah. shopping for a girlfriend's birthday present, and I had something I could not ignore. Yeah. And uh, I sat down to assess what was going on, and I remembered an interview that a woman gave on TV many years before. Mm. I don't even know why I remembered it, but she said that women's symptoms for a heart attack are often different than a man's. Mm -hmm. yes. And she described this elephant pressing on her chest. Mm. Uh -huh. And that's what I was experiencing. Oh but I had such incredible good luck. I, as I said, I was in a boutique. The manager came over and asked me how I felt. I told her very calmly. She said, Susan, my car's right outside. Why don't I drive you to St. Francis? That's one of the premier heart right. hospitals mm -hmm. in this country. Such good luck. It was a mile yeah, right away. There. Exactly. Right there. So I had a Amazing good luck. The, the mm -hmm. cardiologist there is mm -hmm. spectacular. He is all what his reputation mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. he said, and I kept thinking in the car, I can't do this. Right. I have a day off. I have to do this. Right. I have yeah. to do that. I have, have a whole Kinda list good. I have I to have do. I have a whole list yeah. I have yeah. to do. This is what we women do. Yeah. And, you know, I love that you have that, that you have really spoken out about this because we know you're probably saving a life right now. Mm -hmm. I and hope and so. we just commented on your beautiful necklace. I can't stop staring at it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Tell us a what little is, bit about thank it. Thank you. Yeah. Well, um, a year ago, I had some symptoms again, mm -hmm. and I went right back to the same way I was, the mm -hmm. way I, I've been telling women for three years. Yeah. No, listen get to checked. your symptoms, yeah. get mm -hmm. checked out, know your numbers, and, and put yourself on your to-do list. Yeah. Well, I reverted right back. Yeah. I was not even, I was... You not, just thought there's no way. There's oh, no, no way. way. Yeah. No way. Yeah. And I didn't even tell my husband. He then insisted, no, you have to Good call point. the doctor. It's 10 o'clock yeah. at night. That's the other thing. We don't want to bother yeah. the doctor. I know. Oh. Yeah. So anyway, I was thinking... I would love to create something that would be a concrete reminder to women that even if they have survived and been yeah. lucky like I have been, uh, to keep on mm -hmm. being vigilant mm -hmm. remind and yourself. remind yourself. It's like a talisman. Mm -hmm. You know, you can wear it up by itself. You can wear it layered. And the there's way, a little gold heart in it. It's, it's 14 karat gold and a half carat of diamonds. And it's, it's sparkly. Gorgeous. We like sparkly. Yes, we, we do. We see ourselves going, combing yeah. our hair. Oh, yeah, I have oh. to take care of my heart. Yes. You right. know, something concrete to shine a fresh light well, on this situation. Something you've mentioned twice during this interview yeah. so far is your lovely husband, oh, Helmut, I Helmut. Yeah, <laughs> who passed away. And I know that he Helmut. was 10 months ago, the love of your life, yes. I know. How have you been uh, coping and dealing with this? I think there are people who have, are feeling a similar loss at this moment. Yeah. Well, coping and dealing, those are the right words, because it's awful. Mm -hmm. He was great. <laughs> if he hadn't been so good, it would be a lot easier. <laughs> but he was the love of my life, and he, he, um, he was spectacular. Mm -hmm. And uh, so coping and dealing, that's what you do. You put one foot in front of the other, and, uh, and you, try, you try to just do the best you can. And um, that's what I'm doing. You've mm -hmm. said that humor helps. Mm -hmm. Humor, yes. And friends, oh, my yeah. goodness. I'm so lucky because our friends have remained my friends, yeah. and they are so funny. 
mm -hmm. you know, and so that has helped me a lot. And they've been so, you know, I never want to be Debbie Downer. I don't want to be like baggage you have to, mm -hmm. you know, bring along. But um, they have kept me very busy. And um, and what's been a very, very good thing for me to do is I would, this was in the works. It came out of a conversation mm -hmm. with a friend. Yeah. And uh, I didn't know while we were talking, she could make my, my dream come true. Mm -hmm. She could translate my message into a beautiful piece of jewelry. Yeah. Oh, it is, it jewelry. is beautiful. By the way, a lot of all my children fans are, I'm sure, watching and going, oh, my gosh. And we've been hearing a little bit about a reboot. Is there any possibility? What it, what's happening there? We would, li just <laughs> we any, would like it. We would, we would we like to put that out there it. into the world. <laughs> we would like yes. it. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Thank you. Um, well, I heard uh, a while ago that... Um, Actually, Kelly uh, yeah. Ripa and Mark Consuelos, her husband, were thinking about producing a oh. reboot. And I've learned, I'm sure you've learned in the course of time, how important it is to be in the right hands. Yes. Yeah. You know, and I knew with Mark and Kelly, we would mm -hmm. be in Get the right done. hands. Sure. Get it done well. Totally. You know? Totally. Uh, and I was very excited. And um, um, I'm not hearing anything lately, but I have mm. heard just again this week that... Um, it's still a possibility okay. still in the works. Well, you know, so we we'll need see. to get Kelly Rip on the phone. Yeah, we, can, yeah. Come we on, know Kelly. how to get in touch <laughs> with her. We know how we to get in touch do. with her. Kelly, um, uh, she can do it. Oh, she but can we do have it. to talk Jane about Mark. Michael B. Jordan, too. Oh, we, I didn't oh realize my. he was a coach. He got to start with you. Yeah, He did. He was Look my, at him. my stepson. Oh, your stepson. He plays your stepson yes. in All My Children. On All My Children. He was Jack's adopted son. And Did you know he was going to be this type of star from the very beginning? You know, nobody knows anything. Yeah. yeah, but I knew that he was fantastically talented and sweet. Oh, such a good person. I love Michael B. Jordan. I was so happy to see him co hosting. Yeah. He uh, could be in the life. reboot, too. That's a great oh, idea. Well, this is going to be so good. And and Kelly is so too good. busy. Amazing. You know what? Michael should do it. Why he not? He should produce it. He, I'm sure he's got time. Oh, he's and got time. And you know, you always have to give back to what gave you your start. Yes, I think that exactly. Would be cool. okay. Exactly. All right, don't leave because we're going to have more with Susan Lucci coming up right after this. I think it could happen. He's hot right yes. now, too, in this moment. Yes.